I'm Brad Nisbet. I'm a uh, Hunt for Heroes volunteer, uh, fishing guide, hunting guide. Hey everyone, it's, uh, my name is Pete Silva. Um, volunteer, participant of uh, Hunt for Heroes. Uh, uh, Miramichi uh, Striped Bass Hunt 2022 is a program that was uh, put together by uh, Michelin, Pete and I. Uh, we're new to the Miramichi, but that doesn't mean that uh, we didn't find success up here. We had uh, crazy week of uh, high quality fish and uh, serious numbers. Uh, several uh, hundred plus uh, fish a day and uh, several big fish boated. So uh, the program was a two day program. Our guests came up uh, the 16th, I believe it was, start 16th. We got out for an evening fish. Uh, we had a, um, a good friend, Cliff, or correction, Steve uh, Cliff with uh, who volunteered his time and his boat to come on up from Fredericton and uh, and be uh, another uh, uh, facilitator for this program with it with his uh, guide services and his boat and his boat uh, we got together night of the Monday night the 16th and uh, got people in uh, in the boats and got them out on water and we had a pretty successful evening uh, we landed about 50 fish in uh, my boat and I'm not sure what they got in your boat feet but I'm I, Similar, I would imagine it was more because Steve's the man. And, uh, yeah. But uh, that just warmed us up for what was to happen uh, the next day. Tuesday the 17th of May was ridiculous. Uh, we had uh, all types of weather, heavy downpour. We had uh, fog in the morning uh, and then it opened up to uh, bright sun and uh, gale force wind for a while. But uh, we uh, that didn't stop us. We, we, searched uh, for fish mostly around Strawberry Marsh up to the enclosure campground at the top of Bull Bears Island and uh, back around again and then uh, uh, in our boat here uh, with uh, our veterans we we boated 150 striped bass and we got to experience one of the uh, uh, something I'll never forget uh, or I've ever seen or probably might never get to see again out on the water we've seen a whole river erupt into a feeding frenzy of uh, uh, a bass blitz uh, hammering and foraging on uh, a smelt uh, population that was disrupted by the uh, the chop and it just triggered the whole river into a boil and it, it you'll see the footage later but it it was ridiculous our uh, our clients weren't even throwing the lures at full cast they were putting them in uh, just 20 feet because they couldn't uh, they, they didn't have any arm strength left to keep reeling fish after fish in from full cast our boat was it was very similar. We uh, we had a couple of uh, firefighters from from Halifax uh, sent to us from Fight for Life. Uh, it was experience of a lifetime for them both. Uh, it was a father daughter team, which you know is uh, is just so special to see. up at the uh, guest accommodations. Uh, we had an Airbnb uh, for all of our guests to stay under one roof so we can uh, enjoy the camaraderie after a, a day of fishing like that. Everybody went to bed with arms that were just beat, beat to death by 200 striped bass and yeah. uh, with a belly full of fried fish and french fries and, uh, and a couple cold drinks and yeah. uh, smiles on their face. So. Uh, when we got up, I, the, the program offered uh, the, another day of fishing the next morning, uh, another morning of fishing. And, uh, you know, when the guests are standing on the, the dock with a smile on their face, politely declining uh, <laughs> some fishing like that, yeah. uh, you know, you know, we did our job up here. We, uh, we got them home with great pictures, great memories and, uh, yeah. and a rekindled passion for their, uh, their, their angling, uh, their angling hobbies. 
the program is it's all smiles and I, I, it's it's such a wonderful thing to see you know people haven't fished or hunted or you know been outside in four or five years COVID didn't help but you know just to see those smiles again and that that rekindled spirit of of just you know being outside and like I said fishing is second to this and you know surround yourself with these kind of people and yeah everybody went being at a nonprofit organization we, we, we run here, uh, we couldn't do it without uh, partnerships and, and sponsors. They put together these boxes for our, for our guests up here. It's just specific striper gear, you know, all different sizes and colors. And they use their experience of fishing up here their, their whole lives. And, you know, they're holding no punches, holding no secrets, you know. It's getting bums in the seats and get up here with your families and your, your friends. And just fish and catch fish all day long. It's pretty amazing. So thanks again to Minnow Tackle and Fredericton. It's, you know, couldn't do this without you.